Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's new video which is going to be a little bit of a rant video. So the other evening I was browsing through Amazon's new and future releases list and I came across a listing for a new released version of You Rang My Lord, the BBC comedy series. And what made me a little bit angry, not angry but annoyed, is the fact that you can still buy the original complete You Rang My Lord box set for £19.99. Yet uh, the brand new released version looked absolutely identical apart from the new uh, ratings logo and they wanted to charge £44.99 for it and that made me a little bit cross because how can the manufacturer justify still having the original released box set for £19.99 but then releasing a brand new but identical box set for more than double the price and this isn't the first time that something like this has been done. I'll insert the screenshot here somewhere of the um, new Rama Lord box sets. But I wanted to talk as well about some other times that this has been done and how at the same time it's made me a bit cross. So the second instance of this is the Vicar of Dibley box set. Now I picked this version of the Vicar of Dibley box set up which I'll put on the screen in a minute uh, at a car boot sale for £6. Now that's a little bit irrelevant but um, you'll see what I mean in a second. So I've got the, I think it's called the Ultimate Collection and it is every single episode that they ever made. Everything that you can get it is the complete, as you can get it, completest box set. But then back about, I think it might have been 2018, 2019, they released a new Vicar of Dibley box set, but this one was missing some, I think it was missing two Christmas specials possibly. I'm not quite sure, but it was missing some episodes anyway. And it got me thinking, again, why have they released a box set that isn't complete when they've previously released a box set that is complete? It's like going backwards in a way. You know, you've got a complete box set, which obviously everyone wants. If you're uh, a fan of the show, you want everything they ever did on physical media. So most people are going to want that. But then years later they release a box set that's not complete. It it doesn't make sense because um, you're not getting everything that you should be getting but they're making it seem like you are by releasing a box set that isn't complete. And again, this isn't the first time it's been done. Um, they did it with the My Family box set. Now, the My Family box set originally uh, came in the same box packaging that the big Only Fools and Horses set came in, and I had that release. But then, a couple of years ago, they released a slimline box set, and again, it was missing one or two Christmas specials. And to me, I just thought, why are they doing it? Fair enough, release a slim down set, but keep everything in that should be there. You've already released a complete box set of everything. So why take things out? Because the people who are going to buy this aren't getting the same value for money because they're not getting everything that should be getting. And I don't understand why manufacturers are taking, re-releasing DVDs that are supposed to be complete box sets, but taking out 
episodes because it's not right because people aren't getting the complete collection they should be getting and they can go out and buy a complete box set that was previously released. Now, um, another, this is the last comparison that I'm going to do. Um, there is loads and loads of others out there and I'm sure that you might have issues yourself. But another, there's another type of re-release that gets me and it's uh, so this example is the Keeping Up Appearances box set. Now I've got the box set that's on screen somewhere now and that box set is absolutely fine. It's nice, it's got nice artwork but then again a couple of years ago they released another complete set but with new artwork and that got me thinking well why are you releasing another brand new box set with the same content just with different artwork because you don't need to it's nice that they want to but to me the people that want that box set are either have either already got it or because of the price of it because it is considerably more expensive than the previous box set they're going to go to places like ebay and buy a second hand copy or a brand new sealed copy on ebay that's the last release to this one to me it just seems silly that they're re-releasing a complete box set with new artwork when p people aren't that bothered um you know they'll, if they want this sets they'll already have them but if they want to get them into the collection, not many people are going to go for the brand new release. They're going to look for a cheaper copy. Um, and it's not just TV shows that, that, that do this. You've got the likes of Disney. So a brand new Disney film will get released on Blu-ray, DVD, 4K. And then a few months later, they re-release it with these numbered slip covers. Now, to me that's a bit silly why don't you just release it with the numbered slip covers straight away so that people who want these films and have got the numbered slip covers already aren't having to wait to get that film in the collection because you're basically money making by releasing it first normally and then releasing i don't know if it's a special or limited edition of this slip cover to me it just makes zero sense and that's for me it's kind of one of the drawbacks of physical media because they seem solely focused on re-releasing stuff we've already got instead of releasing new things onto physical media that we don't have that people will be interested in buying. Again, there's loads of examples of that, but for this video, I'm just focusing on re-releases and the prices and why are they re-releasing things that they don't need to. So yeah, that's my little rant video about physical media and why are they re-releasing everything. So. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.